that we are celebrating the radiology day with such a gusto and I must uh, congratulate to everyone over here for showing, putting on this kind of show. And he was so much engrossed into his working, into the basement and he was all upon to understand, to unravel the mystery, how exactly and what happens inside a tube. And then accidentally he noticed that a screen, platinocyanide screen, is shimmering. Shimmering means it is showing some amount of shining over there. So he could understand that something is happening into the tube but nothing is visible. Something is coming out of the tube which is causing shimmering of the platinocyanide tube. So, initially he was not able to understand what exactly is happening. For that reason, the name was given as X-rays. X stands for something unknown in mathematics. But of course, very fast he was able to come out with all the properties of the X-rays. Now, how this hand came up? So, the first radiograph was of his wife, Martha Ludwig. Imagine those days also it was very difficult to convince the wife that I am doing something very good. Martha got very much bugged up that what is this happening that this man has not come out of his lab for last three days. So she went down at the basement and asked him what is happening to you, why are you not coming out? These two people when they discovered in 1979, the Nobel Prize was given to the Hounsfield for the discovery of the CT scan. This also brought equal amount of revolution into the field of medicine, almost international level, where he was working as a technologist who was independently doing coronary CTs. Ultrasonographic views, but you might not feel that friendly with this modality because you are not working with this. But it may be very soon that among you some people will opt for sonographers because the entire Europe and America is working with sonographers where the sonographers do the ultrasound, take the standard views and the radiologist is just reporting those images. So with the fast pace of technological advancement this can be the future. Then we all know about computer tomography. This is again using the X-rays. We have got a magnetic resonance imaging scanner in our department. You all know by the name of MRI. And uh, it is again at the top of the technology and something which is known as fusion imaging. So fusion work itself tells us that there are two modalities. For example, CT PET and MRI PET. So what is PET? It is positron emission tomography and this is our nuclear medicine study where we are using the positron emitters as radio tracers. What we can see is we can take or stitch the X-ray right from the skull to the ankles in one projection and in another projection. These are two orthogonal planes. This is AP view, this is a true lateral view and by using these softwares we can recreate a color code the bones. Now in this recreated view you can see that we can see these foliosis. Here we can see the vertebral height and what is the value of this? The value is when you are correcting these kyphosis and scoliosis you need angles. You need the morphology of the vertebrae. So this can be easily done by CT. But look at the CT, what it does. It scans right from top to bottom. Then the 3D. On the behalf of College of Paramedical Science, we want to thank all of you, sir, because you give your precious time for our students. And I am also congratulate our students that they are very lucky that we have the three gem of our hospital in the especially in the radiology field. Because some of the students may be from first semester
that they are not going to watch it right now. So, I congratulate all the students that on the occasion of this radiography day, discuss. If you have any query, you can discuss with our uh, Rajul Astori sir. He is our guest speaker, speaker for today program and take the benefit of their knowledge.